Hello, and welcome to the fourth and final video in this series about adding rooms and equipment groups to the Autoflex Connect. This video will cover all things feed related. I will first go through adding a feed loop kit, which includes the loop drive and loop sense modules. I will then go through the new auger manager group. And finally, I will look at bin track integration with the Autoflex Connect. So first, let's dive into the feed loop kit. I am logged into my Autoflex Connect and I have navigated to the structure page from the main menu. If we go under the other tab, then we will see we have this feed loop icon. Note, I have already installed my loop drive and loop sense modules and I have detected them. If your Autoflex does not detect that you have those modules installed, it will not show you this feed loops icon. Because I have installed them, I see this icon and I can go ahead and add a feed loop group. So I will call it room one uh, feed loop and I will put it into room number one. I create that group and then I will need to go to the configuration page, select my feed loop group, and then select my modules and assign them to the group. So make sure that that is selected and save. And now both of those modules are configured into my feed loop group. On to the auger manager. So here it is also under structure. It is also in the other tab. So if we go to auger manager, we will first need to go to these gears here and enable it. And then it's gonna take us to the configuration page. So here on the configuration page, we can select this new auger group, create an auger group, and then we're gonna select either an RM4 or RM2 output. I will call this one RM1 main because it's my main auger and it's in room number one. We will save that. And now I have that group. So this is my main auger. And then from here, if you just have your main auger, you can leave it at that. But if you have line augers running off of that uh, main auger, then you can go ahead here. I have room one, line one. Tell it that it is a line auger and I can save that. Maybe with this one, I also have a second line auger. So I can enter in room one, line two. It's a line auger and off we go. If I wanted to create a second uh, auger group, maybe I have a main auger running to room two as well. So then I again, I selected create auger group. I've named it room two main, it's my main auger. I will assign it to room number two. And then we now have our second auger group in which we can put line augers as well if we so desire. And you can add up to, I believe it is six line augers per uh, main auger. So that covers the auger manager and auger groups of both master augers and line augers. The final thing to note is bin track. So I'm gonna go down, if we want to add bins for our feed loop group, I will select that and then I will hit this bin track icon at the bottom. So here we can select one of the four bin track bins. So selecting bin A, I'm gonna rename that to room one, bin one, and this will have feed number one. We will enable it and save. And then maybe we have two different types of feed. So we can do room one, bin two. 
which has feed number two, and that one is also enabled. Future Daniel jumping in here just to let you know that for bin track integration, of course you will need your bin track hardware, but you will also need an RS485-Flex. I have tossed an image up there on the screen of that along with the product number, and that is a little add-in card that you will need to purchase to connect the communications from your bin track to the Autoflex. Now, back to the rest of the video. To end this video, I will just go to the home page and show you the different icons that we get when we configure these. So here in room one, we've got our room one, our main auger. We've got our couple of bins, one and two. Oops. Uh, and then as well, we've got our feed loop. So yeah, going into the feed loop, we could start setting up settings if we wanted to. We've got our different bins. Again, we could set up settings. And then for the auger manager, we've got our main line auger. And then within that, we have any line augers that we have set up. And there we could click on them and go into the, the settings. But that is for another video. So I will leave it here and see you all next time.